Businesses today in the professional services um, arena really have to have a high level of focus on leveraging technology in the right way. And they have to ensure that that's fit for their purpose and enables them as a business to develop and grow. There are lots of different solutions out there, so it's very important that a business pays good attention to that. I think competition's healthy, um, and I think you need to respect that. Um, I don't subscribe to um, the ethos of over worrying about competition. I think it's uh, important to understand what people are doing, but it can also be quite distracting. Um, you can get het up about somebody releasing a new piece of a technology or a new piece of uh, a new service, and that can be you know, a challenge, but equally, it's important to play to your strengths and remain focused. So I think the best way to deal with competition is to be aware of it, but don't over panic. Business tips are, are widely available. My personal ones are around the sales and marketing effort uh, and making sure that you spend enough time and focus on that. Sales is fundamentally a process, therefore, you should follow a process to deliver good results. Uh, I think people often underinvest in marketing because it's, it's misunderstood and you can't easily quantify the return sometimes. But getting your brand out there and being able to explain what and how you do in the best possible language for your customer is incredibly important in, in, in my mind. I think finally, again, you know, it's important not to be faceless. You have to be um, front and centre. You have to you know, allow a customer or a potential partner to see who and what you are and what you do. And it's incredibly frustrating, I think, when you sometimes hit a website or an email campaign and there's really no idea as to who's behind that business. And I always think, well, have they got something to hide? Uh, and, and we believe that it's important to be transparent with your clients and customers.